Elon Musk says that we're living in a simulation. Uh, it's, He's not the only person that theorizes this. Basically, we're in a video game being controlled by higher beings, and right. we're all just like in Super Mario Brothers. Yes. Uh, I wish I had a good argument against that hypothesis, and I do not. See, this is how Lucifer works. This is how Satan works. Uh, he, you get some type of truth out of his people, because that's who... Neil deGrasse Tyson is working for, and Bill Nye, and everybody that you see on TV, you get a type of truth. There is some truth to what he's saying. Do you get the whole truth and nothing but the truth? No, you don't get the whole truth. He's not up there telling you about the true God of the Bible, and the only way to get to heaven is through Jesus Christ. Now, he's not telling you that. Of course not. But he will tell you uh, something about some type of creator um, or some type of heaven or some type of this is, you know, an offshoot of something else. You see, that's how that's how Satan works. That's exactly how Satan works. A good lie always comes with some truth. It has to. It doesn't have to, but usually a good, good lie, a big one, Always comes with all kinds of truth. All, all wrapped around it. Just like, look at religions. All, all other religions have good things in them. But the main truth about the only way to get to heaven through Jesus Christ is missing. And that's what you're seeing here. So it's going to be really amazing to me um, to see atheists being told by their atheistic um, gods like Neil deGrasse Tyson, just like he did right now, that there's uh, somebody created this place. Uh, there's higher higher intelligence than us, which is obvious to Christians, but atheists, they don't believe that. They, <laughs> they believe that protoplasm uh, evolved. They believe that nothing came from something, or something came from nothing. When life can only come from life, that's science itself. And so here you have, um, on the world stage, and when I say stage, I mean stage, because all this is staged, they know exactly what they're doing. They're rolling out the New World Order agenda, because it's okay if you believe in a God, as long as you don't believe in the God, the true God, then Satan doesn't care. You know, and by that time, it'll be too late. The rapture is going to happen, and people are going to be stuck in the... Tribulation and what's going to happen? They're going to roll out the Antichrist. Well, look, he's going to do signs and wonders, miracles, and all these fallen angels and Nephilim and giants and demons or possessed people, artificial intelligence, all that's going to be here. And that's the grand delusion in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11. God shall send them a strong delusion so that they should believe a lie because they refuse not to believe the truth. Who's the truth? Jesus Christ. Who's the lie? What's the lie? All this stuff. You know? It's just slow indoctrination over time. None of this happens overnight. It all has been being done for years and years and years to condition people. And to, and to take their minds from them. And that's what's slowly being done. Because they haven't said yet, Tyson, Neil deGrasse Tyson hasn't said yet. For sure he knows that, but he's it's an option. Could be. You see, one day it will be yes. That's the answer. You see, it's a slow indoctrination. That's how Satan does it. That's how a good lie is done. Wrapped around with truth, slowly indoctrinating people to believe in a God, but not the God. So basically, we're in a video game being controlled by higher beings, and we're right. all just like in Super Mario Brothers. Yes. Uh, I wish I had a good argument against that hypothesis, and I do not.